Well, hi, how are you? So what's going on? Hey, you know what? What today is? It's Nevada Day. It is. And um, we have a state song called Home Means Nevada. Now, this is a song that a lady named Bertha, a lady named Bertha, she came to Reno from the Midwest seeking a divorce because that's what you did back then is you went to Reno and got divorced, okay? You threw your uh, wedding ring off the Virginia Street Bridge and, you know, that was the world back then. There was only a couple of states in the Union that would allow divorce. So she came here, uh, fell in love with the place, and fell in love with her divorce attorney, Fiore Raffetto. Now, Bertha Raffetto uh, became, well, these, these two were, were quite the it couple from back then, okay? Bertha started writing a, a poetry corner on the, in the Nevada State Journal, uh, I think the Sunday paper, you know. So she became quite the social whirl, and they were quite the it couple. This is the Reno in 1932. Uh, the glitz and glamour of 1932 here in Reno. Now we were in the Depression, uh, but um, it, it, we were still Nevada, and Nevada strong and Nevada proud and all that. So, okay, so the Nev native Nevada, da Nevada native daughters, right? In the summer of 1932, the Nevada native daughters, which were, I don't know if they're still around, but they were very powerful women. They decided what they were going to do was uh, have Bertha play a song about Nevada at the annual Nevada Native Daughters picnic at Bowers Mansion. Uh -huh. Now imagine, <laughs> you know, we got this freeway that gets us to South Lake Tahoe. Boom, like that now. Okay. Imagine going to Bowers Mansion in 1932. <laughs> it was a couple days ride. We better stay the night. <laughs> it was way out there. Anyway, so in the afternoon, they had set up a grand piano on the front balcony of the Bowers Mansion. And the Nevada Native Daughters summer picnic was going on. And all the big shots and well-to-dos and, you know, mucky mucks were there. Okay. Uh, former governor was there. And he'll come up later on in the story. Anyway, so she gets out there. She stayed up all night writing this thing. She had weeks to do it. And then at the last minute, goes, ah, you better write this thing. So she does, and she put it together, and she played it on piano, this is important too, on the balcony. Okay, well, this became uh, the state song, like in 1933. Governor Colcord, former Governor Colcord was there and said, oh, that's the most beautiful song ever. And, well, it was, okay. So, Bertha Raffetto wrote Home Means Nevada and played it for everyone for the first time on the balcony of Bowers Mansion. It becomes a state song. It was written on piano and was the kind of song that people would sing in the parlor. Kids, come on down to the parlor. <laughs> they would they would uh, sing in the parlor on a Sunday afternoon after an ice cream social. Well, anybody that's ever been to Nevada knows that, you know, we just do a lot of sitting around the campfire. <laughs> Ain't a lot of pianos around the campfires. So what I did was I transposed this song for the sesquicentennial. The 150th. I never thought I'd have to say that word again. The sesquicentennial. And um, Governor Sandoval was just like, he thought it was the coolest thing. Uh, we performed it on the air. Anyway, so it's back. I did an arrangement of Bertha's song with a lot of love. Now, I did change two words. I changed the words wind blows to horses run because I knew that that's what my friend Lacey J. Dalton would want me to do. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, home means Nevada. <laughs> Thousand thrills. Home means Nevada. 
safe this weekend be good to each other and um i gotta go i got some high powered max volume stuff to do so see ya